right, John, thanks. Joseph Schooling's story of winning gold is worthy of a Hollywood script. The Singapore native idolized Michael Phelps growing up, only to beat him in the 100 meter butterfly final at the Rio 2016 Olympics. Now he's back, making his third Olympic appearance in Tokyo. But some of the lessons he's learned happened here in Southwest Virginia. I think one of the biggest reasons coming back to here was just to get myself centered again. For Joseph Schooling, Christiansburg offers a sense of calm away from the spotlight that normally follows an Olympic champion. It's a change of pace, um, a lot slower given um, Singapore is super quick, man. Uh, there are a lot of distractions around. So the most important thing for this year was just being happy. Happiness came in the form of a gold medal five years ago when schooling beat his idol, Michael Phelps, at the Rio Olympics. I remember everything, man. I tried to go to bed. I couldn't sleep. Um, the race kept playing on and on in my head. Everything, the parade, you know, seeing my parents after. It was, it was truly like a eight hour roller coaster that you just never got off. Schooling didn't let newly found fame go to his head. Instead, he reunited with his mentor, Sergio Lopez Miro, focusing on the Tokyo Games in Christiansburg. Where Lopez Miro coaches the Hokies. But, but in Southeast Asia, you have, between all the countries, close to a billion people that really feel that he's a role model and a figure to follow. He has a lot of pressure. He has a lot of people's expectations on his shoulders. That's a tough thing to carry. But by training in Southwest Virginia, schooling is able to keep his head above water. One thing Serge does really well is he keeps track of the big picture um, by being calm, but at the same time, he doesn't inhibit who I am as a person. Coming back here, being unknown, flying under the radar, that's all the things you need. Just keep your head down and keep going, man. Like, that's, yeah, it's just a grind. And that's a message schooling wants to send to others who look up to him. Pick a goal. Be positive about it. Um, find something that you really love doing and just go for it. It's as simple as that. Good advice there. Joseph Schooling says being surrounded by other Olympians in Christiansburg has helped him push boundaries as a swimmer. But the defending champ considers himself an underdog in the 100 meter butterfly in Tokyo. And that's a mentality that he's come to embrace. It's such a tough wow. swim to right. just swim. I mean, and then you win, and then what do you do with all that success yeah. and fame? So all of a sudden, it's like you know, let me go to Christiansburg, get you know my mind, yeah. you know, focused. So it's been really interesting. I mean, it's great, crazy that an Olympic champion is right here in our own yeah. backyard. He's yeah. coming to our area to get away. <laughs> right, yeah. right, right. <laughs> just, just amazing athletes all, but that the butterfly yeah. that that's a that's a real yeah. tough and one. beating his idol Phelps too. That no that big deal. Pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Thank you for that story, David. Yeah.